And before we talk about the game, I think all of us would just like to talk about the program, the soccer program, and our experiences. And you know what we're talking about in the post game there was uh, just how the relationships we've built, how much everyone means to each other. Uh, this is a really special group of people, and what what we do is about so much more than soccer. Uh, we're going to win and lose soccer games, but this is a team that strives to honor God in everything we do, and uh, it's really, really special to be a part of. Uh, you know, what I feel fortunate is relationships with these guys, and then relationships with all their teammates. I think every team member is very special and dear to us, and we we hope these will be lifetime relationships. They will be. Some, yeah. Something on similar lines before we talk about the game. Yeah, yeah, before, when we brought it all in, we said we're going to end it the way that we started together. Um, and I think we've done that every step of the way. And obviously, wins and losses, that's what you're going to look back on in the in this short time. Um, and while this might hurt for a little bit, uh, 10 years from now, we're going to look back and not remember the score of this game. Mm -hmm. We're going to remember the people that were standing next to us. And so for that, I'm so grateful. Um, and I could not be prouder of this team, prouder of this group. Um, I love every one of them so much. And I know we, we gave all we could tonight. Um, UCCS, hats off to them. They were the better team tonight. Um, and sometimes all you can do is all you can do in that. Um, and for that, we can just be proud of how we played because we glorified God in what we did. Mm -hmm. We truly put Christ at the center of the season. Um, it was just amazing to be a part of. Mm -hmm. And like Woody said, um, you're going to lose soccer games, but we know that our identity and our confidence is not in winning a game. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. You're, you're going to lose. That, that fails, but it's in the Lord. And he has given us this new confidence, and he's constant. Um, so I'm just so proud of all my teammates for having that confidence in God. And it's just, yeah, so different um, from what the world would say, yeah. but so powerful to be a part of. So, t so tonight, tonight's game, uh, we felt like we were having the run of play early. We felt like their goal kind of came against the run of play. They got that first corner kick uh, and, and went up 1-0. Uh, still felt like the rest of the first half kind of went our direction, uh, and, and we had a good chunk of the play. Uh, but chasing the game at halftime, we had to change a little bit to get more aggressive. Uh, you got the immediate impact of that uh, aggressiveness, scoring in the first three minutes of the second half to get back 1-1. We felt like that was the beginning of it. We felt like it was going to keep going our way. Uh, but then also, um, when, when, they, when they scored the second, that was also – partly to what we were doing in the midfield. We, we had the midfield more covered in the first half, and th this was a more aggressive style, and they had a little more space, and they took advantage of it. They took advantage of it twice. So, so now we're really chasing the game 3-1. I don't think any of us gave up hope at 3-1. There was still this feeling of we can still get one, and sure enough, it came at 84-14. Uh, and, and at 84-14, we felt like there's, gonna, there's another one of this. There is a miracle, and, and we, we threw the numbers forward at at 89.30, we got a really good chance, and then and then because we had thrown the house forward, they got one in the counter punch. I, I would echo what Soph said. UCCS played an awesome game, uh, and, and they deserve it, and we'll wish them the best moving forward in the national tournament. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What was kind of the, the change after the first half? I mean, coming in at halftime, you're down one. What was kind of that? In, in the what first half, we were doing a lot of defensive shifting and changing, which covers the space better, but also allows them to keep the ball. Yeah. And we didn't want to allow them to keep the ball because we were chasing the score line. So, so we decided to just really get body on a body, and uh, we missed a couple of assignments. And that, that can happen. It's something that we hadn't done a lot. Uh, in the, cause we, we were really trying to press numbers forward. So there was just more space in the midfield, and they found that space and took advantage of it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like what you said, I think in the locker room, we just left saying, hey, well, there's 45 minutes left on the clock. We're never out of this. Um, I never doubted us for a second. Um, and obviously, score one went a little bit different than we would have liked it to. But I think we believed the entire time we fought the whole way. Um, and yeah, at the end of the day, we had to take our chances. We have to shift up. Um, pressing the numbers forward, you know, that's what we needed in that moment to find another goal. And ultimately, uh, they countered on us just number wise. And that's sometimes the risk you have to take. Uh, but I know that we gave everything we had. Um, throwing those numbers forward and you know at the end of the day the result's going to go the way it is um but yeah i'm proud of how we fought so being curious what is the um mindset going into that lap, the last 10 minutes mm -hmm. when you're down by one or two you got you get that last goal and what, what, what's kind of in y'all's heads just keep fighting um keep giving 100 percent and yeah pull together play together mm -hmm. uh yeah nobody 
nobody was going to try to play individually. Nobody was going to give up. And you could just feel it, feel that that sense, which is something to be proud of for yeah, sure. Absolutely. I think we've done that all season. You play for the girl next to you. You play for those who can't play right now. And so mm -hmm. I know for me, I just draw strength from my teammates, from the bench, from the sideline, from the coaches, everyone that's poured into us. Um, and so I think, you know, we gave our best effort and we can we can go to sleep tonight knowing that we gave everything we did. Um, and ultimately, we fell short today, but uh, that doesn't mean, you know, it'd be different later and we can be proud of um, how we still fought. Yeah. Last question for you all. Kind of tell me what the senior Except to sum up in a short window, there, there's nine seniors. Uh, they've built something very special. They took the team to the Final Four in 2021. They took us to the Sweet 16 last year. Uh, but, but we would echo the idea it's not about wins and losses. Uh, it, they have invested relationally uh, in everybody. They, they, they've made this world uh, a very special. Uh, they wrote out their own legacy statement. One of those statements is every player matters, no one's left behind, that everyone has a voice, that uh, on sports teams it's very easy to be a meritocracy with a pecking order and, yeah. and some girls aren't recognized. <laughs> everyone on this team has a strong voice uh, and, and every, everyone on this team, the, the, the nine seniors left that legacy. They created a culture uh, that will, that I bet they can come back in a decade and the culture will look exactly like what they've built because there's just a lot of things from what they built that we want to keep. Uh, Karis is one of those seniors and she can yeah. speak more to some of that. Yeah, I know all of the seniors and I would just say that we love this team so much and we're so invested in this team and some of our best friends are mm -hmm. on this team. Um, and yeah, we just have so much love and we're all so sad to, to leave. Um, but also we're, we're encouraged by by our teammates that are still here because we know that they're going to continue the legacy and we're not just leaving and um, yeah, leaving behind the team. We know that they're going to step up and they already have. So I think we can do that because of people like you and all the other seniors. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to sum it up into words because these people have just changed my life. Um, and I know we're all down there on the field and just kind of surrounding each other and just soaking it in because um, this team will never be the same as it is right now. Um, and these are the, the people that God brought here for this season, uh, this specific time, this specific purpose. Um, and I know that the relationships we've built are gonna go so much farther than this game. You know, this, the sport's gonna end for us all someday, um, but these relationships and our relationship with God ultimately is gonna go on forever. And so um, it's people like Karis that have poured into us that I know that that's what's gonna stick with me. Um, I'm so grateful for that. and. Uh, while their season here might be ending, um, they have such so many opportunities in front of them um, for the next phase of their life, and I could not be prouder to see where they all go. Obviously, it's uh, not going to be the same without them on the field, but <laughs> I'm so thankful for all they've done for us. Um, and for those of us still here, we're going to fight with the legacy that they've built because they've done a fantastic job. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.